Cool. Okay, so come up. Um, and um, I asked, I told all, I wanted all my master class ladies to come that are present, like, <coughs> um, <laughs> you, can, you can join us since you're part of the group. Um, yes. Yes. Oh, the stool. Just make sure you put the rubber thing on the carpet before you put the thing on the thing. Okay, so, um, and she'll be back. So one of the most fun things that I get to do is find people who, were, JJ, sorry. No, you need to come here. Come here. <laughs> come here. Come my other Joanne. Come yes, here. yes, <laughs> yes. Um, it was, it's okay. okay. So what I, what I told them is I wanted them, to, I just wanted to honor them because I get the gift of being able to speak into their lives and walk with them and, and do stuff with them. And, and um, we were at dinner, I don't remember where we were at, no, oh, at the party the other night, and I was just talking about the different people and what they did and where they were like when they first came and when I first met them. And kind of like what I did with Val, who, who said, I don't even know why I'm here because um, they're all pastors, which we weren't, but that was her perception. So she came in with this fear, right, of we're all just super religious, and she's not, and yet she has this amazing, powerful prayer ministry. Um, but she needed to learn how to own that for herself, you know. And, uh, and Carol's just this beautiful, wonderful lady. <laughs> yes. She, and so she's a tapestry sister as well. And I think that, um, and Heather was in the, in the course for a while as well, and, and just really talking about our, ourselves where, where, where are we at emotionally, and there were, where are we at spiritually? One of the first questions that I ask is, how much do you like yourself? It's one of the very first questions, and we, and we get real and we get deep. How much do you really, oh, and Stephanie's back there hibernating. Yeah, yeah she's supposed to be up here too. Um, but, it, but, it's, but I make you judge yourself on a scale of zero to ten. How much do you like yourself? When you're laying in bed at night and the day is over, you're tired and it's done, how much do you genuinely like yourself? And, and so we start there and we say, you know, how much do you um, believe God really likes you? And you have to write, that, write a number down. You have to, like, be authentic and real and kind of walk through that process. And so that's what we've been doing together ever since, you know, I met Stephanie. And, um, we, and we did this thing, and, the, and this is some of the results. I mean, we've got about another seven of them that are watching online, um, that were able to watch online, Yeah. And, and so it's just a joy to be here in, in the moment of just knowing that because of my yes, that they all now get to say yes. And so anytime, like when Joanne went to Africa, so she came on saying she was never going to be able to do anything. She's too old. She's super depressed, cried all the time like Nancy. And, um, <laughs> and <laughs> I was just convinced, you know, I'm, I'm never going to do ministry again. And then last year, was it last year or the year 22. before? 22, she took a four and a half month trip through Africa as an evangelist, you know, and so obviously not too uh, old to do ministry. And um, so what I had to ask them, one of the things that I do is I walk them through those two things, you know, what, where are you spiritually and where are you personally between your feelings and your emotions, and then we do skill set. So the skill set that I, I ask people all the time, if you had no self-doubt, what would be different about you? If you had zero self-doubt, what would you do differently if you got up and you got to go? And they, and they invariably said I would either stand up for myself or I would speak up more. And so I added speaker skills to the end of that. And so part of that training is to give them a, a talk, which is technically five statements tied together. And, um, and I offered them to, oh, I told them, you're going to come on stage and we want to go down the row. And if they just did it, it would go by really fast because it's only five statements. And so... Um, so the whole framework is, I used to be blank, but now I'm blank. So you can say, I used to be blind, but now I see, right? And, and due to whatever, due to the, the person that prayed me through, or due, you know, whatever that due to was. And, and then what they want someone to do, I want you to pray with me. And then what you want the, them to experience, so you can experience freedom from your past, right? So it's a very simple framework. And the way I typically teach it, and, I was, and I'm going to be actually speaking about this after Bob to kind of actually walk you through that process so that you'll be able to take that home, is um, I used to be fat, but now I'm skinny due to Weight Watchers. Join Weight Watchers so you can be skinny too. Okay? <laughs> Super easy framework. Super easy framework. So, so who wants to go first? Diana, who has the microphone? I, I can pass the microphone too. <laughs> 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 we can go down the line. I've had the microphone all day. No. 
I used to silence my voice because I believe the lie, I'm not good enough. But now I'm emceeing a women's conference. Woo! <laughs> Due to overcoming self-doubt and having incredible mentors. Thank you. I want you to overcome your limiting belief so that you can step into whatever God has called you to do with confidence. All right, my name's Nancy. Nancy. And I'm all nervous, and I don't know why I'm nervous. Yeah. It's because my mentor is here watching <laughs> me. So I used to be <clears throat> completely full of self-doubt, insecure, didn't have a voice, or didn't think that anybody would want to hear what I would have to offer. But now I am a senior pastor at a small church in Highland, California, preaching boldly the truth of who Jesus Christ is and who he was is for me and sharing the hope that I have found in him mm -hmm. due to allowing myself that time to heal mm -hmm. from my past traumas and accessing different types of, of, of programs that mm -hmm. have mentors mm -hmm like Pastor Elaine, mm -hmm. that also had a sisterhood mm -hmm. of people that were struggling through their own healing process as well. And because of that, I was able to overcome all the, the fear and the anger and the, the, the self-doubt to be who it is that God called me to be and to learn how to, to live in the truth instead of listening to all the lies that have either been told to me or the enemy told me, or I even told myself, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that I could be set free. And so I want you, <laughs> I want you to invest in yourself mm -hmm. and invest in your healing mm -hmm. by accessing such types of programs that Pastor mm -hmm. Elaine offers yes. mm -hmm. and the sisterhood that comes with it so that you can be set free, so that you can live in the truth of who God created you to be. Mm -hmm. Because God created you for something special mm -hmm. and for that purpose. And he has freedom for you. Amen. Can you, can you tell who the, the, the preacher is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I used to, my name's Misha, and I'm new in the program. I'm not, I don't have it rehearsed, but I'm just going to just, it just, short. yeah. So I used to be terrified of human relationships, and I used to be afraid of even mothering my own daughter because I wasn't in touch with myself due to relational abuse. And now I teach women how to heal from relational abuse, express themselves honestly and authentically without fear or shame, and I get a, an opportunity to watch women be set free. All of this was due to actually putting Jesus Christ yes. in my heart yes. as my first and number one relationship and learning how to be fully honest with the Lord and be vulnerable and no longer be afraid or ashamed of my vulnerability. And this has been due to my relationship with Jesus and my experience with Elaine and all of the women here. So I would love for all of you ladies to also experience vulnerability as a safe place with the Lord and with other people and to never be afraid of the darkness that's in other people and to wear your armor of God every day mm -hmm. and know Amen. that honesty is the safest place to be. Amen. Amen. Did you, did you I haven't done this in a while. I know. You need to coach me, Pastor <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> I used to be afraid of speaking. Well, yeah. Um, so I used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to believe I was unlovable. Now I believe I'm a daughter of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Because of that, I've been set free, mm -hmm. and I have been healed, and I'm now able to stand up on a stage without fear, trepidation, and knowing because of who I am in Christ, I get to speak life into other people. And I want that for you. And so I encourage you to find somebody like Pastor Elaine or another group of women where you can truly be transparent and authentic mm -hmm. with your stuff and your junk 
and that you would get the healing that every woman needs. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just pass it on down. That's okay. My name is Joanne. So God called me to be a youth, a youth pastor about five, six years ago. And for the longest time, I could not accept the title of pastor because I did not see myself that way. But now I can boldly say that I am a youth pastor <laughs> and walk in it. And it is due to taking Pastor Lane's class and learning about identity abuse. And so I want you to learn about your identity abuse and how to stop believing the lies of the enemy. So like the other lady said, however way that is, whether it's through Pastor Elaine or your own um, mentorship or whatever resources that are out there, break free from those lies Amen. that the enemy has bound you with and walk in your freedom. Amen. Well, you already know I'm Joanne and she did part of my story. <laughs> <laughs> But I was at a point where I felt that I had no more ministry. A teammate in ministry had passed away, and I had always worked in a team. I had never worked by myself. And I thought, I'm too old to start over now. I'm in my 70s. I'm just too old. And now I know that I am not too old. God still has a call on my life. And if God has a call in your life and he hasn't removed it, you are not too old. Get out there and get to work. And I want you to join, as we've said, something like Aileen, Aileen's master class or another group that can mentor you along and heal your inner being and give you that confidence back that God wants you to have. And I know it works because, as she said, I just came back from Africa in 2022, and I'm going again in 2025, Lord willing, to celebrate my 80th birthday. And you can do it, too. How do you follow that? <laughs> you be you. <laughs> I'm Valerie, and uh, Master Potter, Christian Master Potter. I've only just recently accepted that title of <laughs> Master Potter, even though I've been doing it for a long time. But uh, as I said before, I used to have no confidence in myself, who I was or what I could do. But due to some very special friends, teachers, mentors, and a whole lot of prayer, I have learned that I don't have to fit in, that I don't have to be like everybody else. I've learned God has taught me who he is and who I am. And now I not only make beautiful pottery, but I also am able to share unique experiences and things that I've learned, insight that I've learned about God, the master potter, and how he works in our lives, the clay. I didn't know I was doing this. So um, I'm Carol Dyer, and I used to um, sit over there, and now I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not shaking, because I used to shake, literally shake my boots. Okay. Oh. That means, you, did I get to talk? <laughs> so I'm going to speak for Carol. So Carol um, used to be a sun worshiper. She loved the sun like I did. And, and now she's a professional, one of the best known estheticians in the Sacramento area. And because so you were voted best of for how many years in a row? Like 17 years in a row, 17 years in a row. Okay, and so she learned, and it was, you were older when you started that, right? Yeah, in her 30s when she realized, hey, maybe I ought to take better care of my skin. Da -da 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 -da. So tell them what was the change agent for you? What caused, what oh, caused for you the skin care? For, for you to go from I'm, I'm a sun worshiper to maybe I should take care of myself. Oh, because um, I became a esthetician <laughs> but, uh, but was there something that caused you to become an esthetician actually I'm a cosmetologist I won't lie sorry <clears throat> so I had to learn skin hair and nails and when I got to the skincare part I'm like this is so much fun and so then when I'm laying out in the Sun I'm like I can't do this anymore and so I became um, an, you know, a skincare specialist and I love facials and I love to help women um, take care of their skin, 
and to educate people on stay out of the sun without protection. Mm -hmm. Protection you can do. Right. But I ha want to say that this has been a rocking time, <laughs> Pastor Elaine, <laughs> and thank you so much for putting this on. And happy birthday. Should we all sing happy birthday? Uh -huh. I, I lip sync, so who can sing? Happy birthday.